I mean, while civil society organization CSOs in Nigeria are concerned about corruption levels and attempts to blackmail anti-corruption agencies through sponsorship influencers and incentivize opinion publications, they argue that transparency and accountability are crucial for democracy, but Nigeria's management of resources has consistently disregarded these principles. Judicial corruption is a major challenge to anti-corruption efforts as looters manipulates the judicial process. This is why we think that we have to join hands at local, state and national level to fight corruption and strengthen our anti-corruption institutions who are under attack by enablers and the corrupt people who do not want to be investigated, who do not want to be accountable. That is not the aspiration that Nigerian people have and that was not what Nigerian people have fought for democracy. There has been a concerted war by corrupt people in public office in Nigeria to make sure anti-corruption agencies are unable or prevented from prosecuting corrupt individuals. We must stop this level of corruption from continuing to grow if we are to survive as a country. We urge the ruling all progressives Congress party and other political parties to take decisive action in purging its ranks by denouncing and breaking support with their members who are currently being investigated by anti-corruption agencies. It is essential to prioritize adequate funding and support for anti-corruption agencies to prevent corruption and promote accountability. Through this, the present administration will demonstrate its commitment to fighting corruption. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.